Alright, hi guys, good afternoon. So, uh, Cherry Mobile just launched our newest smartphone, the Titan Pro. Yeah. So, as you can see here, so uh, what makes this different from our other Why phones? is it the Pro? This is the Titan Pro. Okay. okay? So, what makes this uh, a Pro class smartphone is because of this uh, gesture pen. Yeah. All right, so as you can see here, so as soon as they pull up the pen, mm -hmm. so uh, something pops up. A memo application uh, pops mm -hmm. up. So, uh, so this particular application is designed to quickly jot down your stuff, notes, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you don't have to launch an application, just pull the pen out, then you can write stuff, right? Exactly. So just like any other note-taking app, so you could uh, essentially erase what you've written. Mm, nice. Okay. Uh, you can share what you've uh, scribbled and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that's a pretty cool feature of this phone. Now this, now this uh, stylus. This is a more accurate stylus, right? This is not it the is. capacitive yeah, type. Yeah. This is not your typical uh, capacitive stylus, as you can see here. Yeah. It does have a our, point. Uh, yeah. It has. It has a. The tip is over here. Then the, the button, which is we call right, the it gesture does have button. A, yeah. It does have a button. Okay. So this enables this. Uh, a pen to draw gestures on the phone itself mm -hmm. and it uh, launch specific applications depending on what uh, gesture you're making right right okay so there you go so anyway let, let me try to uh, give you a rundown on the features of the phone mm -hmm. so uh, this is a 5 inch uh, high definition uh, OGS display right and we are this is protected with a dragon trail scratch resistant coating. nice so that's a the display is a 5 inch 1280 by 720 right exactly right mm -hmm. and uh, more than uh, the uh, visuals we, we also have the 1.2 gigahertz uh, MediaTek 6589 yeah like yeah a that's very, a very proven processor yeah, exactly uh, this one has one gig of RAM mm -hmm. and uh, we got four gig of internal memory mm -hmm. but if you want to have more storage of course you, you have expand to pop it. in to right. 32 gig micro mm -hmm. SD so I guess we, we could proceed now with uh, some other features of the phone. So, sure. So since we got the G Pen, mm -hmm. so let me try to demo some features of it. So you can still use the G Pen to uh, navigate the the phone itself. Exactly. Oh yeah. By the way, speaking of the G Pen, um, this uh, tool can only be used on this smartphone. Okay. So you, you can't use this on oh, yeah. other smartphone. Right. Even a Cherry Mobile uh, phone. Okay. So let's. It does uh, use a, a specific. Uh, Pen technology. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So anyway, so I'm talking about the G Pen feature. So let's uh, tap this. So you can see that uh, you can set uh, vibration mode whenever you take out the pen. Mm -hmm. That's sort of reminding you that you took out something from mm -hmm. the phone. And uh, just like what uh, we, I did earlier. So you don't lose the uh, the pen. Or, exactly. Yeah. All right. And then so just you like feel that you the the pen has been removed. Exactly. Right. All right. And then just like what I've shown you earlier. Uh, when I pull the uh, tip out, um, uh, an application shows up. Mm -hmm. So you could uh, enable that or disable, depending okay. on your preference. Okay. And then we also have here a quite cool feature, which is the pen anti-loss reminder. Mm. So uh, especially, let's say, uh, you're the clumsy type of user. Right. You, you and then you might have lost, uh, left file. your pen on the table or something like that. All right. After three minutes of inactivity, the, the phone will uh, launch an alarm, mm -hmm. all right, uh, signaling that uh, you have to locate the, the, the pen, pen before you lose it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And then th this is one nice feature of the phone. So we got suspension preview. So uh, what does it do is it gives you a preview of uh, your gallery contents mm -hmm. as well as uh, your messages or email. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So let me just check if we got some uh, pictures already here. All right. So we got some uh, mm -hmm. sample photos. So just like... Uh, what I've mentioned, you just have to put this tip close to the screen. You don't have to touch it, right? No. Uh, as you can see here, um, there is a sort of like one centimeter distance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can see what's inside your gallery. Right, okay? right. So for example, you're also uh, composing a message or let's say you receive the message from somebody mm -hmm. else. So let me just try to uh, put in some random number and uh, put in certain characters. Right. So let's say you receive a message from a friend, mm -hmm. um, and let's say it's a pretty long message. You just have to put the tip close to the screen, and you can see there nice. that it shows up. Uh, right, right. Message. You don't have to go into that conversation mm -hmm. to understand what's going on in that conversation, right? Exactly. All right. So what else do we have on this phone? Uh, we got the specialized applications like uh, Memo, the one that I've shown earlier. Mm -hmm. um, if you're artistically inclined, you might want to use the Doodle application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, um, you have more control on right. uh, your settings, like uh, you can set a specific pen. Nice. All right. You can, you can make graphics with that. Use patterns, so sort of change mm -hmm. the color. And because you're using a more accurate pen, it's, uh, 
it's not uh, sort of a crazy doodle. It's exactly where you want to put the, the lines in and stuff like that, right? Exactly. There you go. So as you can see, you can put uh, patterns, you can mm -hmm. uh, doodle right. all you want, and then you can even put in some photos. So it's basically the power of the pen there, really. Exactly. All right. Now, what if, let's say, the, the user would like to use this uh, feature uh, when he's in a business meeting, mm -hmm. uh, taking down notes, or right. recording some uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is launch the Notepad app over here. So you can see that uh, you can uh, oh. make your own uh, collection right. of notes. So just to give you an example, let's say you're working on a draft uh, note. So let's say... So it separates your notes into whatever kind of notebooks you want. Exactly. Sort now, of like sketching and then maybe work and stuff like that. Exactly, right. Now, unlike the other two applications I've mentioned, the mm -hmm. memo and the doodle, here you can specify what kind of stroke you want to make on okay. your phone. So let's look into stroke first. So as you can see here, stroke. All right, so here, whatever you put on the screen, you exactly uh, see it, mm -hmm. uh, where you did it. Now, if you want to take down notes, so for example... You want something that approximates letters and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. So for example, let's say you'll just uh, write this. All right, so let's say whatever you write here, you could see that uh, placed on top, on the right, upper left. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is especially good if you're a student, you mm -hmm. want to take down notes. Yeah. So it tries to mimic uh, your typical handwriting. Right, uh, right, and formats it in, uh, in the top there so you can have more space, right? Exactly. Nice. Now, if you're not pretty much accustomed to using uh, these strokes, you can still use the regular uh, keyboard uh, mm. entry using the chord. All right, all right. All right, so there you go. And uh, in addition to this... Okay, right. So definitely a lot of use for the pen here. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, now, in addition to that, since this is a note-taking tool designed for business purposes, mm -hmm. you can even like record uh, the meeting. Mm. Okay. So let me try to do that here. So you can see here that the, while I'm talking, the the phone is recording uh, what I'm saying. Right. All right. So this is pretty much uh, applicable for people who uh, like to record uh, a conversation, yeah. and then you can still like doodle on the mm -hmm. screen. Right. Okay, so let Take me notes while having the uh, the actual discussion recorded. All right, yeah. and then you can just play it back uh, by tapping on the play button. Nice, nice. So it's pretty cool right. feature of this. So, and then this five-inch display is actually pretty handy for all that uh, doodling and, and writing stuff. Okay. So, yeah, let's um, let's round out the specs here. This is a quad-core, 1.2 gigahertz. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so MediaTek 6589, yeah. Mm -hmm. Five-inch HD display. What are the cameras here? All right, so up front, we've got uh, five megapixel. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Nice. And at the back. We got uh, 12 megapixel autofocus. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, this one has BSI nice. sensor on it. Right. So you would expect uh, better uh, output when you're using it at the and low light. That's the slot where the uh, the stylus yeah, there goes go. in. So yeah. As you can see, all you have to do is just uh, push it in. Right. And as soon as you put it inside, you'll feel the phone vibration. Vibrates, right. 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 Telling you that uh, you were able to put it in, mm -hmm. and then when you pull it out, again the phone will vibrate, and just like uh, what I've shown you, yeah, you, the memo. you got the memo. Right. Um, so what kind of battery battery do we have here on the back? Okay, so uh, the phone has a lithium-ion battery pack, so mm -hmm. it's removable. Mm -hmm. And for those asking for the capacity, so this one has uh, 2150 nice. milliampere hour. Right. Okay, so this should keep you up and running. It's pretty good for uh, for an HD screen it and is, a quad-core processor, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to, to mention earlier. Mm -hmm. So uh, this phone, since it has a gesture pen, mm -hmm. so you can use this to draw gestures right. and then it will able to like uh, launch specific applications. Right. So let me try to demo that. So, so to launch that particular pad, you just have to press the button mm. and you draw a straight line from top going down. And once you see that uh, logo, right. you should pull nice. up the shortcut search. Nice. Okay, so while you're here, so you can put in some gestures. For example, you want to compose a message uh, without tapping any icons. You mm -hmm. just draw this figure, letter V, and that should pull up the menu. Mm, nice, nice. Okay, one more thing. So another way to pull up the menu, you just use two fingers, draw it down, oh. and you get it. The same thing, Nice right? gestures, yeah, okay. right, right. And uh, if you want to, let's say, launch the phone application, you draw the symbol mm -hmm. and you get this. That's a pound sign. Nice. Exactly. So yeah. that is the Cherry Mobile Titan Pro. Really Titan. nice. Uh, some gesture features and also the G-Pen. Uh, how much is this guy and when is it going to be available? All right. Um, so this will retail for just 10899 Nice. Okay. Very affordable given the features. Especially with the G-Pen. Yeah. Exactly. 
And um, good news, this will be available starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. So uh, you may drop by your favorite Cherry Mobile store and have one of yours. Right, so that is the Cherry Mobile Titan Pro with the G-Pen 10,899. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. All right, anytime. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please press the like button below. Add it to your favorites and or share it to your friends. If you got something to say, drop a comment in the comment box as well. Of course, more importantly, you should hit the subscribe button on top. This will keep you up to date with our new uploads and helps us out tremendously too. That's it, guys. See you next video.